Hey there everyone and how are you guys doing today? My name is Joe Marin and I am from MobileCupOfJoe.com and in this episode of MCOJ, I'm going to be giving you my full review of the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 2 8. Now this is an 8 inch tablet right here with a 1280 by 800 HD IPS display and it is a very very well built product made by Lenovo. And this is honestly probably my favorite tablet that Lenovo has kicked out to date. You have full Windows 8.1 running on this bad boy, so although it is a small 8 inch form factor like a Nexus 7 or a Kindle Fire HDX, you have a full desktop computing system running on here. Now some other key specs do include expandable storage and a 1.33 gigahertz quad core Intel Atom chipset. In all in all, this is just a very solid and a very well built product made by our friends over at Lenovo. So let's stop talking and take a further look at my personal thoughts on the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 28 and why I think it is the best tablet from Lenovo we have seen yet. All that more coming up in this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, but guys, before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a Mobile Cup of Joe. Alrighty, so here we go with my full review for the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 2.8. That name it does not get easier no matter what, no matter how many times you say it, the name does not get easier. But we are here to review it today. Uh, before we get too far in this review, I'd like to give a big thank you and shout out to our friends and pals over at Lenovo for sending us the Mix 2 and really allowing us to uh, review it for you guys today. Would not have been able to do it without them. So let's go ahead and dive into the review. As you know, our reviews, we section them out into pros and cons of the device going in order from design and build quality, then hardware, then software, listing off my pros and cons with it as we go. So for design and build quality, let's start out with our first pro, and that is the nice design. Um, I'm actually a really big fan of the design for the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 2 right here. Uh, it is constructed out of plastic, the entire thing is plastic, but Lenovo really did a good job with, and, with it, and they handled it really well. On the front, we have our front-facing camera smack dab in the middle right there. On the bottom, we have our Windows Capacitive Home button, and then... Up top on the left hand side we have a Lenovo logo and we've got these black bezels that do surround it right here. But I really do like the bezels because when you're holding it in a landscape mode like this, which is my preferred way to uh, browse Windows 8, they are, offer enough room to where you can hold them on each side like this and not touch the screen. So I do really like how Lenovo sized the bezels here on the Mix 2. Now if we go onto the back and the fr side of the frame right here, you can see that it is a kind of a silver grayish color. Now this is all plastic here as well, but right here you see, I'm um, not sure if the camera is going to be uh, picking it up, but there's sort of a very soft and light texture right here, which gives you a little bit of a grip on the Mix 2. Then if you go to the bottom here, we have sort of a reflective new other layer of plastic, which actually wraps around the and makes the frame of the tablet right here. But it is reflective, it's plastic, it kind of looks like metal and I thought it was at first, but it is in fact plastic. But it does add a bit of flair to the whole design of the tablet. Now your speaker is up top here. In one, the only real gripe I have with it in terms from the design is that these stickers right here do make it a bit cluttered. Oh, you have your Windows 8 sticker, Intel inside, your FCC sticker, then a bunch of different information about the Lenovo tablet here. So that does make it look a little messy at times, but that's my really only gripe I have with it. The tablet weighs in at 12.2 ounces and it's only 0.3 inches thick. So you can see it's incredibly thin, of really no weight or no uh, fat to this machine at all. Another really big plus for it is the fact that you do have an option to expand the memory via, or the storage rather, via micro SD card slot. Uh, this tablet is available in both six, in both a 32 and 64 gigabyte storage variants, and on top of that, you can expand it with your micro SD card, and that's a feature that's becoming more and more rare on tablets as we progress through time. So it's very cool to see that feature here on the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix. So all in all, really pleased with the design. Love how it looks, and I love that micro SD card slot expansion right there. So those two pros right there really make for a solid design. Now let's go ahead and go into some hardware with my next pro with the bright and colorful display. Now as the name as I said does suggest Lenovo Mix 2 8 tablet 
there is an eight inch screen on here, which is bigger than most seven inch small tablets that we see, because most small tablets are seven inches. This is bigger than that, but it's smaller than 10 inch tablets, which we usually see. So it's sort of in the middle right there, and I really do like it. It's small enough to where it's still very portable, but that extra inch of space compared to my Nexus 7, for example, does make this very, very nice for consuming media. Now this is a 1280 by 800 HD IPS panel, and although it's not 1080p full HD, the screen does look really good still. Uh, colors are nice and bright. The text is very easy to read. And overall, I just really did like the uh, image quality here for the screen on the Mix 2. Let's go ahead and load up a YouTube video just so you can kind of see how the image quality does look for streaming video. Let's go ahead and search for, uh, let's go to the Secret Life of Walter Mitty trailer just because I've got that in my search history and that movie looks so freaking awesome. So it's gonna load up. Let's go ahead and skip ahead into the trailer a bit. Turn off our light. And you can see that the uh, image quality is just fantastic here. Again, it's not 1080p full HD, but it still looks quite good on here. I know colors are bright, saturation is good, color representation is really good, and uh, everything just looks fantastic about this display right here. Really could not be uh, more happy with it. Again, uh, just because it's not 1080p full HD, don't let that lack of pixels uh, fool you. This is a beautiful beautiful display here on the Lenovo Mix 2. Another pro that I have with it is its snappy processor. Uh, the Lenovo Mix 2 has a 1.33 gigahertz quad-core Intel Atom chipset along with two gigabytes of LP DDR3 RAM. And to show you just how snappy that is, let's go ahead and load up mobilecupofjoe.com on Internet Explorer so you can see how web browsing performs. And already at the site, we can scroll through and let's select uh, my review for the Galaxy Note 3 and it's the, the full desktop version of our website right here. This isn't the mobile version, this is the full desktop. And we can scroll through, we can go ahead and change the pictures right here, no issue at all. We can go all through this giant article, then we can go ahead and hop back to our news section and from here let's go ahead and choose our tech predictions and no slowness at all. You can see this is a very snappy machine. Pinching to zooming is incredibly fast right here. Now let's go ahead and close this and load up Asphalt 8 Airborne by Gameloft, which is a very graphically intense game, and that volume is very loud. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, don't allow, tap to continue, just so you can kind of give an idea for how gaming performance does run on here, because in my time with it, I absolutely loved how this performed for gaming. Let's do later, let's just do career. And we'll do this one real quick. And next. Uh, no, we don't want to buy the game. I'm just gonna start the race because we're cheap. And we're not gonna have this tablet for much longer, so we're not gonna shell out money for the full game. And it's loading it up right now. And here we go, we're in Nevada. Never been to Nevada. That's what video games are for, folks. That's what the video games are for. Loading up our beautiful car right here. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and race. Let's turn up our volume a touch. Let's get past number five right here. Trying to keep the uh, tablet in the frame. We completely crashed right there because we were not looking at where we were going. So let's look, go ahead and use that nitrous boost right there. Let's see if we can get ahead. Maybe get out of sixth place because that would be... Beautiful, oh, that's a rock, that is a rock, folks. I am a good driver in person, but never have been the best driver for video games. And let's make a right turn, make a right turn, make a right turn, make, that's a wall right there. Good job, Joe. You're a terrific driver. Let's see if we can, ooh, let's make the jump, make the jump, do a trick or something, I don't know. Let's go ahead and crash and wipe out in some beautiful way. That was a car, that wasn't very cool. Let's just go off here. And crash, there we go. As you can see though, game and performance, no trouble whatsoever. Asphalt 8 Airborne is a very intense game when it comes to graphics and performance, and the Mix 2 runs through it like a breeze, no trouble at all. So very pleased with the performance of gaming and just normal day-to-day -day tasks here on the Lenovo Mix 2. Now this thing has two cameras on it. One up top is a two megapixel front-facing camera, 
And going on to the back, you have a five megapixel rear facing camera. There is no option of flash though. And honestly, I was pretty impressed with the camera performance I got on the Mix 2. Never expect, or at least I never expect, and you shouldn't either, really good image quality from cameras on tablets. But I honestly was very surprised with how my pictures turned out on here. Uh, if you wanna get a better representation for how they are, if you actually wanna see them, the pictures rather than to see the pictures through a video camera, check out the written review for the Lenovo Mix 2 in the description below, or we can get a better idea for just how the image quality is. Now, I'm not saying these are the best pictures I've ever taken with a mobile device. They certainly are not. But for a tablet at this price range, uh, pretty impressed with the overall quality. This is the American flag right there. Hashtag America. Pretty good detail there. You got lots of snow going on in the background. And this is a cat. This is my Nexus 5 right here. Picked it up pretty good. Let's see what else I took. That is an Arizona tea can. A lovely tea. And you can see the detail on the can is actually pretty good with all things considered, and you've got the detail of the carpet. Let's see if I can find that picture. The picture's back there somewhere. Let's see if I can find that real quick. You can see they've actually still got that detail of the carpet in there, which is very nice. And I'll show you a, f a selfie that I took. So you can see how the uh, front-facing camera is. Front-facing camera actually pretty good. Picked up the colors nicely. And I was actually overall very pleased with the camera performance here on the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 2. Now another pro I have with it is it's very strong battery life. I was able to get a solid eight plus hours of use out of the Lenovo Mix 2 and that equals out to about uh, just uh, two days of use, sometimes a bit more, but at the very least two days of full use, eight hours of actual usage time. But overall very pleased with the battery I got out of here with the Mix 2. Again, a couple days, very nice for a tablet like this, especially a small tablet. So you can carry it around with you, throw it in a bag or something for the day, and not have to worry about looking for a charger, because this thing will be able to power through a few days of use without skipping a beat. Now let's go ahead and go into another pro that I have with the tablet, and that's that Windows 8.1 looks and feels great on a smaller screen. I have used many Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 devices in my time, but I have never used one on a smaller screen like this. I've used them on 10 inch screens, on 15 inch screens, even on 27 inch screens, but never on an eight inch display. And I honestly really do like how it looks. Uh, for my taste, it looks best in landscape mode, although all Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 devices do. You do have the option to use it in this kind of portrait mode, but things just don't look as good. You can see that if we open up, um, what's a good one as an example? We open up the store, Oh, uh, you have a lot of space that isn't being used, as you can see right there. But if we go ahead and turn it into landscape, the space is being used a bit more right there. So you have the option to use it in both modes, but I've just found that the landscape mode tends to be my preferred choice of orientation when it comes to Windows 8.1. Now, Windows 8 has improved a lot. Actually, I should say Windows 8.1 has improved a lot since it's been updated from Windows 8 when it originally launched. The .1 update brought quite a few improvements. One of my favorite ones is the fact that you can now swipe up to get access to all of your applications pre-installed. Before, you'd have to swipe up and you get a little settings icon here, and then you can click all apps. But now, just a simple swipe and you have access to all of the pre-installed applications, all the installed applications on your product. And if you want to get back to your start screen, just swipe down and you're right there. Now, I really like all of the value added applications that Microsoft includes with Windows 8.1. One of my favorites, and actually one of my mom's favorites, that's my phone going off right there. That's a bit annoying. Got for at least dubstep. Not sure if you could hear that, but it's a pretty cool ringtone. Oh, one of my mom's favorite applications on here that she actually used while I was letting her test this tablet out is Bing Food and Drink, which is a cooking app you have on here that's exclusive, not to the Lenovo Mix 2, but exclusive to Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. A very nice layout. All of Bing's apps on here have a very nice layout. Not a big fan of the search engine, but I love the applications they include here on Windows 8. You can browse by recipes by quick and easy, soups and stew, different categories of recipes. You have tips and techniques, food culture, and I really like these kind of chef profiles here. So my mom, for example, really likes Mar Marcus Samuelson, so I can click on his profile. I have a little biography about him. I can read more if I want to do that. Or I can go back. And that's a profile picture of him. I can go back and I can look at some of his top recipes. 
I could look at his top restaurants and say I want to go to Uptown Bragier, or however you pronounce it. I can actually take a virtual tour of it right here. Oh, very cool stuff. Again, this isn't something that's exclusive to the Lenovo Mix 2, but it is something that's exclusive to Windows 8.1. Another very cool app that I use a lot is this uh, Bing News thing right here. At least I think it's called Bing News. Yep, it's Bing News. Ah. You've got your top story right here. My pebble just vibrated really hard off the table. And uh, no, go ahead and make a that's what she said joke with that if you want to. Be my guest. But you've got your top story there. You have top stories. Uh, your sources right here. So I've got Cena and Engadget. Then you've got your world news. And I can say I want to look about this uh, Twitter article right here from CNET. I click on that. And it actually opens up the article on CNET's website. And then another cool app on here is, where is it? Uh, Bing Travel. I've used this many a times on some past Windows 8 devices that I've owned. And uh, if it wants to load up, I actually don't think I've opened it up yet on this device. Uh, but, yep, you can use my location. Oh, uh, you have search flights, flight status, you can search for hotels, trip ideas, local destinations. So, for an example, let's say that, um, where do you want to go today? Let's go to Niagara Falls, New York. Never been there, and it looks like a beautiful place. So let's go ahead and take a little vacation. We can go at the map. We can look at what the dollar currency there is. We can look at the weather. And actually, if we click on the weather here, it'll side open up the Bing weather application right here, and it'll show us the weather for Niagara Falls, New York. It's things like this that really make the Windows 8 experience complete and is one of the reasons why this operating system has so much darn potential. Now, one of my cons, actually my first con for this device, is the lack of apps in Microsoft's Windows Store. Um, since it was first launched, the Windows Store has improved vastly. We finally got an official Facebook, official Facebook applications, try, official Facebook applications, say that three times fast. We got that, we have a Netflix application, Twitter application, we're moving up in the world, but there are still a few very key apps that we do not have yet. Uh, Temple Run 2, not on here. Pandora, not on here. Instagram, not on here. There is a lot of major applications that just aren't present here. If we go to the top free applications, you see you got Facebook, Netflix, Google, Skype, uh, you have Twitter, Amazon, a YouTube bookmarks. There's no official, quote unquote, official YouTube app. I use uh, personally Hyper for YouTube, which is a very uh, good client. I've used it in the past. I've been using it for quite a long time now. So you have a lot of third-party apps for Instagram, for Pandora, for YouTube, but a lot of apps don't have official ports for them. And as we saw with the whole Instagram debacle with Windows Phone 8 earlier this year, that's never a good thing. Official apps for Nook, Dropbox, Vivo, The Weather Channel, Six Guns. So the content is there. The content is still a Bruin, but it's just not as complete when you compare it to something like Android or iOS on a small tablet. So keep that in mind. If you're a big content junkie, you use a lot of different apps and games on a daily basis. Make sure you look at the content offerings from the Windows Store before you do make that plunge for Windows 8. Now, my last con, my last con and pro that I have for the device is a con. It's the higher price when you compare this to other smaller tablets. While this is full Windows 8.1, so you can still install full desktop applications like Sony Vegas Movie Studio and Adobe After Effects or Apple's iTunes. While this is still technically a computer, it's still a tablet form factor. And small tablet form factors, there's a lot of different options out there, especially now, and there's a lot of different really good options for less money. For example, I personally own the Google Nexus 7 2013 edition, $230, a very strong tablet. Look at the Kindle Fire HD and Kindle Fire HDX, both very good tablets, a lot less money than this. The Lenovo IdeaTab links, and I'm sorry, the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 2.8 starts selling on Lenovo's website right now for $299 for the 32 gigabyte variant. If you want to up your memory, or up your storage rather, to 64 gigabytes, you're going to have to shell out another $100, and you're going to be sp spending $399 for this tablet. Now, $299 is not a bad price, but it's just that when you compare it to the other competition out on the market, uh, to other small tablets out there, it is a little hard to recommend. If you're looking for a tablet that you want to be very productive with, because there is a lot of potential with Windows 8.1, since this is a full-fledged operating system, and it's technically a lot more powerful than Android or iOS, um, this is an excellent machine. If you're going to be using Microsoft Office or a lot of desktop apps, you want to have them 
on a device you can throw it in your purse very easily and a lot more portable than a laptop or something running Windows 8, then this is an excellent purchase. But if you're looking for something to consume a lot of media, play a lot of games, download a lot of apps, this might not be the tablet for you. It could be since the store is improving, but all the content is not there. So I personally really like this tablet and I actually ended up giving it a final score of 9 out of 10, which is fantastic. Really, really did appreciate this tablet. Wasn't so sure how I felt about it, but then I started writing down my pros and cons with it on paper. And I realized that, you know what, this is an excellent uh, product. Haven't had a whole lot of luck with the last couple Lenovo products I have reviewed, so really nice to see that Lenovo still has it in them to kick out a really strong device like this. So there you go. That's my full review for the Lenovo IdeaTab Mix 2.8. I'd love to know what you guys think about this device in the comments below. I'll try to do a comparison video between this and my Nexus 7. No promises just yet, but I should have some time to do that. So try to get that uploaded again, no promises, but I think that would be a pretty cool video to do. If you have the Lenovo Mix 2.8 or if you have any questions about it, I'd love to hear them down there in the comments below. But that's about all the time we have for this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe. Guys, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. It takes one second to do so and it really does help support the show. And if you want to show your support towards the show even more, I would really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more Mobile Cup of Joe videos. Guys, Mobile Cup of Joe, we're on YouTube, we're on Net we're not on Netflix, I say that every time. We're on YouTube, we're on Google+, we're on, U we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, there's too many damn social networking websites. But like us, follow us, subscribe to us, circle us, do whatever you want to do to us on your favorite social media site. Also, don't forget to check out our official website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for the latest in technology, news, reviews, giveaways, and more. I am Joe Martin from mobilecupofjoe.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.